Imagine Batman's surprise when he finds out everyone's talking about the Batman Happy Meal toys at McDonald's. One of eight exciting action toys or vehicles with each Batman Happy Meal you buy your kids. What you want is what you get at McDonald's today. Why have they been in there so long? They're probably just toying with us, Robin. Look, it's Jeff Armstrong. He's eating apple jacks. He's cool. We'll see. Oh, look out, it's Denise White. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Hi Denise. Denise. Call me stupid, but if you named it Applejack, shouldn't it taste like, well, apple? Stupid. That isn't why it tastes so good. Well then, know-it-alls. Why? They just do. Yeah. Kellogg's Applejack is part of this complete breakfast. I don't know what she sees in here. We eat what we like. Dr. Wily! My robot, and I will control the world as soon as we get rid of that blue dweeb Mega Man and his robot dog rush. Bomb Man, make sure they have a blast! What? Mega Man's taking over the bomb? Cut Man, watch out! Mega Man can use your own power against you just like that! Okay, Mega Man, can you stop Proto Man and Guts Man at the same time? I don't think so. Mega Man, collect them all from Bandai! <laughs> In the 26th century, mankind faces an epic struggle for survival. The forces of nature have spun wildly out of control. Mighty cities have crumbled, and the dinosaurs have returned to reclaim the Earth. Savage Land, one man stands alone, Jack Tenrack, defending humanity in a world gone mad, a world where only the strong survive, a world of Cadillacs and dinosaurs. That phone head's gaining on us! I know, I know! Only if you get out and push. If you hadn't insisted on taking a shortcut. Yeah, well, if you hadn't hit the horn when you tried to grab the wheel. He's gaining on us. Relax, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, getting us in worse trouble. What are you doing? That bridge won't hold our weight. Hang on! like that. I told you to trust me. I trust you all right to nearly get us killed. That looks like Nah, it couldn't be. Jack Whose car is this? Mine, pretty lady.
Hey, Cadillac Jack, long time no see. Como esta, good buddy? Sean? Sean Russell? I don't believe it. Believe it, pal. And who's this fine-looking specimen? Oh, this is Hannah Dundee, ambassador from Wasoon. I'm in love. Hey, listen, I know a spot in the flats where we could watch the moons rise. Just you and me, what do you say, hmm? I've got a better idea. Why don't you go there by yourself? Soon. This guy is a friend of yours? Well, yeah. Jack and me train together as old blood mechanics. We're still the best around. I am, anyway. Hey, remember the Badlands Run, Jack Man? Boy, that was some fun, huh? Uh, yeah, sure. So what brings you to these parts, Sean? I'm just looking for a change of scenery. Wait! Whoa! Down, little cutter. Huh. It's okay, Hermes. He's a friend. Not to me, he isn't. Nice toys, Jackie. I'm impressed. Oh. Old Whirlybird engine, am I right? Right. I just finished restoring it. It'll run a lot better if you use the right fuel hose. Try a 20 gauge. You're right, as always. Hannah and I were gonna test it later. Wanna join us? If you can't, we understand. I'll take a rain check, pal. Got things to do. I'm thinking of settling down in this area. Oh, great. I like the scenery. <sighs> Catch you later, Jackie boy. Uh, sure thing, Sean. Uh, Hannah, no! Your taste in friends stinks, Jack. Hey, what are you depressed about? I'm the one he was treating like prime sambuck meat. Oh, look, I'm bushed. I gotta get some shut-eye. Busy day tomorrow. Promised Kurgo I'd look over some old solar cells he found. Something's bothering you, Jack Tenrek. If you don't want to talk about it, fine. Just don't think you're putting anything over on me. I'm fine. Everything's copacetic. I'm glad Sean isn't around to see this. I'd never hear the end of it. What in? Radiator hose looks like it's been cut. Ah, looks like Kurgo's solar cells will have to wait. Great, the whole day shot. Hermes. Hannah, this is Jack. Do you read? Hannah! Where's my whirlybird engine? Well, what is it? He's been drugged. He'll sleep it off and probably wake up with a headache. Drugged? Oh, come on. How can you be so sure? A tranquilizer dart. Someone pumped him full of sedatives. Whoever sabotaged my car and drugged Hermes wanted plenty of time to steal that Whirlybird engine. But who? Who was eyeballing it yesterday? Sean? I don't buy it. Sean may be hard to like. Try impossible. But he's no thief. Open your eyes, Jack. He's a creep. He's an old blood mechanic like me. We live by a code. And that code forbids stealing another's tools and parts. I trust him. 
Oh, so do I. About as far as I can throw a shivet. <laughs> Sounds like you got one heck of a hangover, pal. Oops, sorry, big fella. Well, I'm off to help Kurgo with those... Hermes! It's like he hears something we can't. Hey, Hermes! Where's he going? I don't know, but this will bring him back. Well, that worked like a charm. Could it be some kind of reaction to the drug? I don't think so. It's like something's calling him. We've got to find out where he's going. Come on! He's heading north, but why? Jack, do you hear that? Whatever it is, I can't deal with it now. He's getting away. You'd better deal with it now. That's two slithers we've seen acting strangely. And here come the rest of them! going on here wild child he wants us to follow him I'm following Hermes but he may know something about all this who knows the grid might be involved maybe but I've got to get Hermes back before something happens to him Kid, I get the message. We're deep in Grith territory, but I don't feel their presence. Well, what is it? What are you doing? The Grith nest. I never thought I'd see them. Yeah, but where are all the Grith? Food's still on the tables. Looks like they left in a hurry. Jack, over here. They didn't leave. But it's very weak. Hob. Hob, can you hear me? What's going on here? What's happened to the Grith? Stolen. Life stone. Life stone? What life stone? Vital to our kind. Must be returned before too late. What is it? Who stole it? 
Hob. Hob. Whatever was stolen from them, they're dying without it. If Sean were here, he might have an idea. That creep? That creep happens to be an expert on the Griff. He's an old blood master. We'll do everything we can to help the Griff. In their weakened state, the Griff could be vulnerable to poachers. You stay here and watch over them. The Griff are related to Slithers. Maybe what was stolen has something to do with how Hermes and the others were acting. We've got a whole lot of puzzle pieces, but none of them fit together yet. Has it occurred to you that your friend Sean may be part of the puzzle? Oh, don't be ridiculous. You're the one who said he knew all about the grip. Look, Hannah, I realize he rubbed you the wrong way, but he's really a great guy. How can you possibly idolize a jerk like that? Sean's a great mechanic, a great craftsman, and a great driver. So why are you frowning? Because somehow I always wind up being second best to him. You don't really believe that, do you? Ever since we trained as mechanics, I was always competing with him, and I always lost. On our final tests, we had to make a run through the Badlands. What do you say to a little private competition? Just to make it interesting. What are you talking about? I'm talking about finding out once and for all who's the better driver, Jackie. If you think you're man enough, you're on! Yeehaw! Sean was good. Very good. He really gave me a run for my money. There were other problems as well. They don't call that place the Badlands for nothing. Fortunately, I had a few tricks up my sleeve. John wasn't doing too bad either. We were both making record time. It looked like we were gonna finish the race in a tie when... Feeling lucky, Jacko? Why you nearly got us killed on that rock bridge. You're still running the same race. And he always wins. Jack, the guy obviously has you totally psyched out. He's not any better than you. Yes, he is. He was always the top mechanic, ever since we were students. Jack, that was years ago. Don't you think that your skills might have increased since then? Frankly, no. Well, for what it's worth, you're the best driver I know. Maybe, but I'm not the best driver I know. Kinda hard to miss the trail. Let's hurry. The Griff didn't look like they'd last much longer. What's wrong? Hannah, I remember this place. It's where Sean and I had our race. Look! The Slithers! There's Hermes! Weird. All the Slithers seem so docile. Maybe they've all been drugged, like Hermes. There's not enough knockout juice in the world to dose all these creatures. Besides... Surprise, Jack! That guy was a creep. You didn't really think you could get the best of me, did you, Jack? What are you gonna do with all the slithers, Sean? Make a killing, Jack, my boy. In every sense of the word. Whoa. Ah. Ah. Up there is a crystal I stole from the Grith. What they call the Life Stone. 
By the way, thanks for the use of the Whirlybird engine. It made getting the crystal a lot easier. Oh, you scum! Maybe, but I'm gonna be rich scum. The Lifestone puts out an energy field the Slithers can't resist. Place it high, and it'll summon them for miles around. But why do you want so many Slithers? To sell them, babe. Their hides, their meat, their bones. And without that crystal, the Grith are dying. More meat for the poachers, Jackie. I've invited some old friends of yours to party, Jack. The Terhoons. They'll help me butcher the Slithers and pay for the privilege. You've sold out everything we've ever stood for. You've sold out the Griff. You're right. I am scum. I'll just have to learn to live with it. <laughs> it's been laughs, guys, but I gotta go get the crystal. It served its purpose for now. We've gotta do something. No kidding. Ugh. Happy landings, old buddy! Where do you think you're going, Sean? I'm going after that crystal, Jackman. There's a way up the spire by car, but it's only for the brave. The Badlands Bridge. It's happening all over again. What do you say, Jack? Ready for a rematch? What are you waiting for? Shoot out his tires! No. What? All these years I've been second best. Now it's time to even the score. Are you crazy? The Terhoons will be here any minute. Man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. Yeah, but why now? You got guts, Cadillac Jack. No brains, but lots of guts. Jack, look out! How could one guy round up so many slithers? If he's on the level, it'll be the biggest score of our lives. And if not, he'll have to deal with us. Just like old times, Jack. Still time to hit the brakes, Jackie boy. Not this time, Sean. Gonna try for first position, huh? Just remember who saved your life the last time. You're not as good a driver as me. Yes, you are, Jack. No, I'm not. I'm better. Ah! He's going over. Never. get this back to the Griff. What about the Slithers? Once we get the crystal away from them, they'll come out from under its power. All right, let's get some Slithers. <laughs> Welcome back, old buddy. Let's make tracks. Well, the Grith are recovering nicely now that they've got the Lifestone back. And Sean's in for a long vacation in Sharnhorse Penal Colony. And you didn't think you could beat him. What are you talking about? I knew all along I could outdrive that meathead. You said Sean was a better driver than you and a better mechanic. Why would I say a dumb thing like that? Gee, I don't know, Jack. It seemed to me you were feeling a little inferior to Sean for a minute there. Hey, it's me. Have you ever known me to have an inferiority complex? Only this afternoon. And I'm all 
already beginning to miss it. Brad Cheese Flavored Snacks presents Chester Cheetah. I'm the big cheese of the seven seas. Do I detect a yellow breeze of mellow cheese? My calm and serene just up and split the scene for the cheese that goes. Crunch. It's not easy being cheesy. I, 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 I. Cheetos, the cheese that goes. Mm. Crunch. Set sail for adventure, the pirates of dark water. Now, for the race with Ren and his stallion crew, as they search for the treasures of rule. But beware. The treasure's no good to a dead man. Bloth and his wicked pirates are on the attack, so the wraith is armed for battle with a boulder-hurling catapult. It's a jet Kong. A power blast harpoon and a mainsail glider. You're stuck, Bloth. The pirates of dark water, he stay separately. Okay, Chip, when you hear the cookie crisp train, give me the thick cookie, boss. Cookie crisp can't resist cookie crisp cereal. Cookie crisp. That's a well-trained dog. Now with extra chips, cookie crisp, here we come. Uh-oh. Hey, can you get drop in, boys? Too bad you won't be enjoying any cookie crisp cereal. A delicious part of this nutritious breakfast. Oh, God, you know what the cereal tastes like then? Oh, cookie crisp. Turtle Games. Today's winners are in the Hammer Throw Track and Field Leo. <laughs> Next, it's Hot Dog and Mike tearing up the slopes. <laughs> At the pool, Super Swimming Roth is making everybody else look all wet. And Power Lifting Dawn is making those weights fly. Look out! <laughs> Hope the Turtle Games were as much fun for you as they were for me. It's just too quiet. Yeah, a whole week now and not a peep out of old lobster lips. It's not natural. I'm getting a willy dees. Yeah, we all are, bro. Of course, some of us are handling it a tiny bit better than others. <sighs> My turn to spackle. Been watching this old mouse again, huh, bro? And now we have behind door number one... I can't take it anymore. I need to whip some pill. Hey, hey chill, adrenaline mouse. At least this break's giving Charlie a chance to give the bikes their 20 million mile tune-up. Okay, okay, listen, listen. What say we just go bust up a few goons? Even one. Please, maybe even just kick their tires. Oh, yeah, he's in bad shape. Bros, bros, let's think. Look, look, if, if it's this quiet, Perch Puss must be up to something, right? Well, if he is, isn't it our born duty as heroes, heroes, to put him on ice? Hmm, he does have a point. Well, there you go. Let's rock. Whoa, whoa, no, wait a minute, Vincent. Charlie said our bikes weren't ready yet. Oh, she's just a perfectionist. Besides, it sounds ready to me. Makes sense. I'm in. Well, at least we'll find out what Lindbergh is up to. And, uh, we are running out of spackle. Hey! Oh, see you on the cover of Hero's Handbook, sweetheart. We're gonna whip us some Butarki in tail. <laughs> Wait, guys, no! Come back! Oh, I haven't put the weapons back in your bikes yet. Oh, be quiet. There's still a goo or two left in Shy Town after all. Yeah. Well, I guess warm-up's over. My blood pressure's starting to rise. Oh, it's my turn, Chucklehead. What? Hey! Bogus! Where's my lasers? Whoa! Huh? Hey, I got no grappling hook. Chain shot. Not. Hey! Oh, Mama, our bikes are only half baked. And we're about to get frosted.
Reform number nine, bros. and no fish to scale. And looky here. Limburger left a little treat behind for us. Heads up, Rose! Hmm. Bet your guppy guts is in the lab. Check out the goodies beaming out of Carbuncle's transporter. No wonder Chumhead's not around. He's out stripping ore from somewhere else. Oh, no! Caught in a deadly crossfire. <laughs> what could be fire? Weapons aren't working. Yep, nothing gets by her. Okay, guys, let's move it. They're getting away, bros. My bike. Oh, let me have those grubby. Hey, 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 I'm on it, baby case. Of those double root beers and hot dog smoothies. Oh, I don't know what happened, but I better get your bikes battle ready. I wonder where those goons are. I wonder where we are. Wherever we are, it looks like Limburger's been doing the landscaping. It's the same stuff that was pouring out of the transporter. Yo, bros, check this out. Cool. You found a way to pack our battle armor. Uh, I did manage to complete a few of my improvements for the new model year. They were supposed to keep you out of trouble. Hey, duh, we're heroes. We live for trouble. <laughs> Man, that transporter must have dumped us onto some planet of giant refrigerator magnets. I don't know. They look more like a... Angry refrigerator magnets. Behold their wheeled steeds. They must be in league with the evil Baron. You metalheads are making a big mistake. Fights well. Uh, what are you calling a witch? Oh. Oh, men. Well, I guess these citizens still want more. Uh, the dragon coming! Dragon? That well, looks more like your basic Plutarchian backhoe to me. I fear no man or beast. Swords? Dragons? You know, if I didn't know better, I'd swear we were back in the middle. Lancelot, come back! Lancelot? Oh my gosh, I knew it! We've got to save him. You mean you know that walking piece of aluminum siding? Those guys are knights. This is the Middle Ages. We've gone back in time. All right, then that calls for tactic XXI. Come on, bros. Hey, but you heard him. I'm a fighting kind of wench. Oh, great. See you at the next wench fight. Well, looky, lookies. It's one of them moving sardine cans. Say nighty night. Night. Huh? Oh, nuts. Where'd them mouses come from? Fly by. <laughs> hey, 
Ever see a dragon fly off a cliff? <laughs> Have a nice swim! Fire <laughs> rockets, bros! Oh, no. Mama, guess these babies needed a little bit more time up on the rack. <laughs> that stinker paid her work like a charm, boss. Them mousies is now drowned like water rat. <laughs> He's just gonna hate himself in the morning. Thanks for the lift. All right, you spine pieces. This time, no more Mr. Nice Guy. Oh, oh, why do I surround myself with the evolutionally challenged? Come on, let's go change his oil. Now it seems first we gotta beat the neighbors. Man, do we have to whip these ten men again? All right, Press, but one more step. You've the honor of having saved my life, warrior. Oh, right. It's, uh, it's what I do. Are you really the Sir Lancelot, as in King Arthur? We are his knights of the round table. At your service, my fairest of ladies. I regret to see the dragon ate your clothing. What? Oh, <laughs> Hey, Lance, keep your mind on your horse. You warriors have slain the dragon who devours our countryside. We must celebrate. You shall accompany us to Camelot. Camelot? Uh, honest, boss, it weren't my fault. Grease pit, you're dripping on the tapestries. Uh, show me, boss. Uh, let me use this big towel here to dry off. Mm. That's a little scratchy, but who's got towels like the dunes anyway? Yeah. <laughs> hey, say, boss, when do you think we can go back to Chicago? Not till we've completed this aggravating assignment, you petroliferous pinhead. Unfortunately, Plutarch requires the purest form of tin ore, which exists only in this dreadfully damp ancient England. No. Even their worms leave a nasty aftertaste. Good news, your heart-clogging creaminess. The time transporter's automated repair systems have been engaged to undo the mice's damage. Excellent. And as for those rodents, it was an inevitability that they would follow me back here. But there's something I brought back into time with me that they didn't. An extremely unpleasant aquatic odor? No, my dear deviated lip doctor. Gasoline. There are no petrol stations or oil refineries in ancient England. So eventually the mice will quite simply run out of fuel. <laughs> My liege Arthur, Lord of all England, Queen Guinevere, I present the noble slayers of the dragon and the Lady Char. <laughs> Remove your helmets and bow in the presence of the King and Queen. That's probably not a good idea. You must heed the law of the realm. Hope they got their seatbelts fastened. Oh, oh, don't be afraid. These three brave warriors have a, been put under a, a, an evil spell. Spell? Spell my tail! <laughs> They've been transformed into giant mice. Oh, what a terrible fate. There's nothing terrible about this, bud. Good morning. As royal wizard, have you no potion with which to reverse this enchantment? Uh, by Jove, stop. I shall try a lot. Oh, strange. I, I spent a fortnight squeezing this stuff out of little blue elves. Yes, uh, no matter, Merlin. Enchantment or no, they have slain the rampaging dragon and thus are our honored guests. I decree a grand banquet. Yeah! <laughs> Bring on the root beer! Root beer? What is this root beer? Oh, man, this really is the Dark Ages. Well, Carbuncle, is the transporter operative yet? Oh, oh soon, your Tofuritude. Excellent. <laughs> and to that end, your shoes crumminess, the drilling probes have located the largest concentration of pure tin in all of England, under the castle known as 
Camelot. Camelot? Oh, how deliciously devilish. The ore that must be got lies in one perfect spot. For after we get through with it, there'll, there'll be, be no Camelot. Camelot. <laughs> Man, this is biker heaven. Yeah, buddy. Man, these are some rude, crude dudes. Oh, my kind of guys. What is this stuff? Old gym socks? You got any root beer? Root beer, soil? Oh, I'd never even heard of such a beverage until you arrived. Yeah, well, come on, Cookie. We're going to the royal kitchen. We got work to do. Gross. This is not quite the way I pictured a banquet at Camelot. Oh? Uh, why is that? Oh, I don't know. Looks amazing. How does this train steam move, eh? Substitutionary locomotion spell number seven. Same diff. Internal combustion engine. Using gasoline for fuel. Oh, stupid dress. Gasoline? Yeah, and we're almost out. Say, you wouldn't have any wicked siphon, would you? Ah, oh, alas, not. But I am well versed in alchemy. Perhaps I can mix a hogshead of this. Mm, guess, Olin. All right, time for you bros to try the real thing. Genuine Chicago-style root beer. Mmm, delicious. Root beer seems such a common name. It shall be called Sarsaparilla, after Guinevere's mother. That should silence the old dragon. I see that he's making friends and influencing people as usual. I hereby declare this contest to be a draw. What? What? Double or nothing, pretty boy. Come on, Vincent. We have more important things to do, like find and Limburger. Hey, lords and ladies, I beg to announce the arrival of the Baron of Munster, Lord Limburger. <laughs> accompanied by his wizard, Jester, and Sir Gris de Pitt, the Duke of Oil. Well, well, bros, guess who's sneezing to dinner? You dare enter Camelot, Limburger? You, whose dragons ravage our land? Oh, my. Not quite the gracious welcome I'd imagined. But... Perhaps you're overwrought due to an obvious infestation of vermin. Uh, possibly my wizard can help you exterminate them. Take your best shot, Wiz. All in good time. <laughs> State your business, Baron Limburger, then be gone. But of course, your kingship. As part of my, um, how that never policy. I'm prepared to make you a generous offer for a certain burdensome parcel of real estate, namely Camelot. Duke. Oh. You presumptuous mountebank. Camelot is not to be bargained for like Dale Johns. Oh, ho, ho, sire, you wound me to the quick. My honor must be avenged. Ergo. I challenge your knights to a jousting match. Uh, here, boy, said you drop this. <laughs> uh, oh. I propose the stakes of the joust be modest. Say, Camilla. Don't do it, your majesty. This stinkfish doesn't play fair. And us, a challenge is a challenge. And the rules of chivalry demand that a tournament be arranged. Excellent. Then let the massacre <clears throat> tournament begin. I shall wear this for good luck, my lady. I knew it. Those charges are choppers. We'll nail these knights for you, King A. We need no help, my liege. Advance. Ha, 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 ha. 
<laughs> this is like shooting fishies in a bu uh, uh, Sorry, boys. Oh, impertinent idiot. Still, one must guard against the ugly possibility of fair play. Carbuncle. Ah, yes. We know what to do, your milk, Dudley. <gasps> Sir Lancelot! Oh. My, my, what a stunning upset. Kindly affix your seal, and Camelot will be mine. Wrong, Barracuda, but it, it ain't over till the fat fish squeals. But, but I must protest. They're not knights, they're mice. This is a most serious breach of protocol. They're honorary knights. You hear that? The second team, buddy. The biker knights of the round table. Easy on the gas, guys. Sounds like Merlin's not having much luck cooking up our refills. I'll wear this for luck, doll. <laughs> Whip tail, guys, for Camelot! Indeed, with this thou tail, yes! your sundials. It's time for nightfall. Let those prehensile pests waste their precious petrol. Oh, bah! Win or lose, Camelot will nevertheless be mine. Time for archaic offensive maneuver 12. Gone! <gasps> Uh-oh. Carbuncle and Grease Pair gone. Limburger's up to something. <clears throat> and I'd better find out what. Man, I really miss my jeans. Well, Baron Limburger, it appears our fortunes have reversed. Ah, but your majesty, appearances can be ever so deceiving. Oh, mama, these knights are robots. I'm definitely taking this up with the Union. The game's 13 Dead End Drive, where you can get rich by accident. It's nighty night for the hairdressers. Someone will inherit a fortune, but everyone's dying to bump you off. A little trip for the fortune teller. First out of 13 Dead End Drive, while their picture is above the mantle, wins. Lights out for the boyfriend. The fun's alive with 13 Dead End Drive. cheesy Mexican pizza for just 99 cents when you buy a large drink. Taco Bell. Want some? Turn up the fun with ball sack. Turn it up! Put the ball sack balloon in the sack. Blow it up now. Give it a whack. Turn up the fun with ball sack. Hit it! Pour it some water too. I fly real quick and now ain't that cool. Turn up the fun with ball sack. Check it out. And here's my little buddy the ball sack. latest assignment, you'll be going to some new places. South Pacific, Antarctica, and you'll be getting some new toys, Gunther. This is a new rocket launcher, a girl's best friend. We've been watching you. Your work is very impressive. Tomb Raider 3, from IDOS Interactive. Oh, and one other thing. New outfits. PlayStation.
Colonel William Guy. One of the greatest martial artists in the world travels the global tournament circuit, using it to conceal his top secret mission as leader of an elite group of international crime fighters known only by their code name, Street Fighter. The heroic man beast, Blanca. Hard kicking fighting machine, Chun Li. team of the most amazing warriors ever seen have joined forces with Guile to combat the criminal empire of Shadaloo and its superhuman leader, Bison. They have their own code of honor, discipline, justice, commitment, and together they will triumph against the forces of evil. Street Fighter! Security, what's happening up there? Security, please respond! All right, you, put your hands... What? No one's there. It'd be a gas getting back at my old alma mater, MI5. Back when they were building this great bloody hole in the ground, I warned them. Don't put the whole air filtration system on a single set of controls. It'll be too vulnerable to terrorists. But would they listen? No. They said, you're too young to advise us. Now look where it's gotten them. Their most hidden installation penetrated by a daring young operative who's gone over to the other side their most secret files tapped into, duplicated, and soon to be delivered into the hands of their most hated foe, M. Bison, who will use the data to bring down the government of Great Britain. Pity for them that no one believed me about the weakness of this installation. Oh, I believed you, Cammy. That's why I made a beeline here as soon as I heard you were back in England. Celia! Sorry for firing without warning, but since you zapped me during our last encounter, it seemed only proper to return the favor. Nice thing about a laser shot, it won't bleed. But it will leave a rather large scar, which I can tell you from experience will ache fiercely in the cold and damp of London. But you'll have ample time to suffer the sensation in your jail cell. That's your problem, Celia. You always think the job's done. Too soon. <laughs> always relied much too much on your precious little pistol, Seal. A potentially fatal error on your part. Sonic! Move! <gasps> Please, Cammy, surrender! Don't make me hurt you anymore. You've been brainwashed by Bison. We can help you if you let us. No thanks. <laughs> Looks like you're the ones who need help. Must stop her. Doomsday codes. Bison, doomsday. That's twenty of our top agents out of commission for gas poisoning. Not counting poor Celia here. And you still think we should use kid gloves when dealing with Cammy? You're crazy, Guile. Burke, listen. Cammy's been brainwashed. She's not. Don't delude yourself. Whatever Cammy meant to either of us in the past is over. Because of her, Bison now has the power to blackmail the world. Celia said something about the Doomsday Codes. Don't even ask. MI5 has allowed us to work with you and your street fighters in the past, but not this time. Their feeling, with which I firmly agree, is that your presence on this mission would not only compromise our security, but jeopardize the well-being of the entire planet. The Street Fighters are already involved. My orders are to retrieve the codes and eliminate Kami. 
If the street fighters attempt to interfere, they will be viewed as hostiles subject to immediate termination. Look, I got them for you, just like you asked. Well done, dear girl. You and Zangief are the only ones I can trust these days. I'd do anything for you, Bison. Anything. I'm certain you would. Now go, get cleaned up and rested. You too, Zangief. We have a most momentous day ahead of us. Most momentous indeed. During the Cold War, the British trusted no one, not even their closest allies. They assembled the firing codes to all of the known nuclear missiles on the planet. And now, on this tiny bit of plastic, I hold their legendary doomsday codes and the very life of the planet in my hand. A life whose moment is ending at Bison's hand. My destiny is to end all destiny! <laughs> Bison has gone mad. He must be stopped. But I can trust no one in Shadaloo to help me. <sighs> there is only one person in the entire world. Colonel Guile, I've completed the systems check and completed our charts as well. We've been to Shadaloo so often, I know the headings by memory. I pray this will be our last trip. This time Bison has the means to rule the world. We have an additional complication. The MI5 team has a five-hour jump on us. If we fail to reach Kami before them, she's history. Colonel Guile! Colonel Guile! Hold it right there. Who are you? How did you find me? None of that matters. My employer thought you might want this before you left on your trip. He suggests that you hurry. Perhaps I should have let you and your moronic teammate execute Cammy. She's starting to bore me. But then, none of that will matter after tonight anyway. <clears throat> what do you mean, Bison? My recent contact with Kali convinced me that I've been wrong in trying to subjugate the world. If not to rule the world, why did you want the Doomsday Codes? Kali doesn't want me to rule this small, sad planet. Kali wants me to destroy it! Come on, Burke. Don't pass out on me. You'll miss tonight's big show. You'll miss seeing me launch all of those lovely nuclear missiles. You'll miss the end of the world! <laughs> The package was from Sagat? Get rid of it! We can't trust him! Generally, I'd agree with that assessment. But this time, things are different. Sagat's worried about Bison's plans. According to this note, Sagat wants us to work with him on a mission tonight. We can't help him! Has he gone nuts? No, but he believes Bison has. Bison didn't steal the Doomsday Codes for blackmail. Bison intends to launch every nuclear missile on the planet tonight. He wants to destroy the world. Even if that's the case, how can we trust Sagat? Sagat craves power. He knows he can't rule the world if Bison destroys it. He wants to live, even if it means collaborating with us. This video, which he claims is the key to Kami's soul. Now let's see what's on it. He's given us a token of good faith. Kami, poor thing. How could even Bison do this? <laughs> Bison must Ah, Burke, so you are alive. Good. I hoped you'd make it. I so wanted to share my moment of ultimate triumph with someone other than your brutish, and I might add, foul-mouthed companion, Rory. <laughs> Rory, don't touch the cables, Burke. The cyborg can tolerate much more abuse than a normal man. The cable's electric charge would kill you, and it's still just a bit too soon for you to die. If you want someone to witness your moment of glory, why aren't your henchmen here with you? I fear that my associates might have reservations about my true plan, so I've been forced to keep it a secret from them all. In fact, in a rather melodramatic turn of events, 
An old and trusted friend has chosen to betray me. Now the swift justice of Shadaloo will strike him down for allowing Guile and his Street Fighter safe passage through Shadaloo's airspace. So then, you still haven't won. My money's on Guile. He has an uncanny knack for taking you down. Don't be rude to your host, Burke. <laughs> really, Rory? I'm shocked. <laughs> Sagat hasn't let us down. The gate's open. Sonic! Boom! Okay. Which way? I'll take this stair. You take the other. Be careful, though. Sagat's designed this palace to be a lethal maze. Sonic! Fighting. Bison's gone mad. He wants no talk. Fight. You try to confuse Zangief. Bison is Zangief's tovarish. We pray that Sagat was right, that this tape is the key to Kami's soul. Mother... Father... I... I was... I was 17. Just 17 the day before... He discovered they were with MI5. Bison had them... Had... had them... <laughs> Who do you love, Kami? Oh, only you. Lord Bison, oh, only you. Only you, Lord Bison. Only... No! Lies. Everything is lies. Everything is lies! Burke, observe. Observe the beginning of the end. In ten minutes, all of the world's new your arsenal will lift off, encircling the Earth in the crushing embrace of total annihilation! Ah, <laughs> uh, the irony. I never dreamt that one day I'd be standing with my back against this very wall, facing you, my own hand-picked squad of executioners. Fortunately, that did not stop me from planning for just such a contingency! My son shall pay for this! I just hope that Cammy is on her way to see Bison. Otherwise, we're gonna feel mighty dumb at the end of the world. Cammy's gone. She's disappeared. But not before leading us to Bison. Now, the question is, how do we get in there? You're insane, Bison! Burr. It was not I who built the Global Arsenal. And if memory serves me, it was your beloved employer, MI5, who betrayed every nation in the world by stealing and compiling their nuclear codes, thereby enabling me to do what I do now. Your moral high ground is quite muddy, my friend. <laughs> Ah, visitors. 
Let's see who's knocking at my door. <sighs> it's impossible. Nothing we do even dents this door. Can't give up, Sonic! Boom! Ah well, let them amuse themselves with trying to break in. No one shall intrude upon my final preparations. Excluding your beloved Cammy, of course. Well, uh, of course, but uh, how did you... Thanks to your training, there's not a locked room in the world that can keep me out. It's time I paid you back for your personal involvement with my life. Give love a nice big kissy kiss. differences. Last night we pulled together to save a world. Last night we proved ourselves worthy of the name Street Fighter. Well, it uh, took a bit of doing, but MI5 has dropped its charges against you. Give Mr. Escher my thanks and regards. Yeah. He thinks we can put you through a rehabilitation program and 
get you back on the team. No. I don't even know who I am anymore. My past is a lie. My present... Well, it's time I got on with my future. Cammy, wait. A person can't live in the past, Colonel. The past is filled with pain. and warriors that fly join forces against evil their new dragonflies posable action figures who pack a secret power the power to fly yeah dragonflies really fly dragonflies on dragon launchers zenith peak fly them crash them against the evil dreadwing now i rule the skies dreadwing you're a dead man dragonflies flight is might new dragonflies flying action figures with dragon launchers each sold separately new from galoo and Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Again, please. Again? Again. Art thou bored? Yeah. Step into a Slim Jim. <laughs> Turn to the spice. That baby juicy taste. Need a little excitement? Step into a Slim Jim. Supernatural things, magic and sorcery, they're back. From out of the gloom stalk your worst nightmares, ghouls, zombies, werewolves, vampires. You can't be sure what lurks out there in the darkness of night. We're the dark stalkers. Chiron, intergalactic collector of planets, wants the Earth. And he's going to get it even if he has to wake the undead. He summons Dimitri, Lord of the Vampires, to launch a reign of terror, to release a plague of monsters and bring humans to their knees. But other night warriors are on the prowl. Monstrous, awesome contenders with bizarre fighting powers. Immortal creatures locked in battle to decide the fate of the world. It's enough to make your blood run cold. About the cauldron go, in the poison entrails throw. Ooh, two that under cold stone days and nights hath thirty-one. Ugh, sweltered venom sleeping got blah blah blah. Let's see. Next we've got Eye of Newt. Oh, not no. Well, 
Why did you bring me here? Now, now, you wouldn't have been called if power and treachery weren't involved. Pyron wants us to work together on something. And I figured that if I just beamed you both to Egypt, you'd kill each other. Egypt? Yes! Relax and enjoy yourself. That bloody loon on a caris. Welcome to the kingdoms of Upper and Lower Egypt. May the hippopotamus of happiness belch in your bottom. May your royal nose putrefy and fall into your soup. Most gracious, I'm sure. What's going on? Pyron's computer reminded him of a gem of power that Anacharis used to possess before he lost his marbles. Phew. That was long ago. Do you even remember what it was like before you lost your marbles, Anacharis? Marbles? Marbles, garbles, yarm. Eh, sparkly stones. The ancient chrysolite capstone. Your sublime and celestial highness. Yes, Miriruka. Darkstalkers will return. And now, back to Darkstalkers. The old nutcase must have transported us into the past. Ooh, he wasn't bad looking 4,000 years ago. The Atlantean ambassador awaits your pleasure. The ruler of the ocean sends his greetings to the monarch of the lands above, and to his gracious queen. Amazing! He's a dead ringer for Riku! Do you see a queen anywhere in this pyramid, you impudent fish? Mm -hmm. No? Well, there is a reason. My lovely Chaotica ran off with a fishman, who was probably put onto it by your slimy squid of a king, Miriruka. No well. Egypt is now at war with Atlantis! I feel better already. Soon, our star gem will turn your fishmen into fish food. And as for you, my dear ambassador, even though you are curiously attractive for a scaly freak, you will be pan-fried at dawn. What's going on? Anakaris just turned the clocks ahead. May darkness conceal you until you reach your new home under the sea. Stop, thieves, or face the wrath of... What's in my name? Ugh, calm down, old Bean. All this happened thousands of years ago. There's nothing you can do about it now. Ah, the crystal is obviously what Pyron was talking about. And since the Atlanteans have never thrown anything away, the crystal is bound to be waiting for us, and Riku is bound to know where to find it. Ah, my little beauty, what can you know of the melancholy splendor of sharing your beauty with no one but yourself? It doesn't have to be that way, my Atlantean prince. Who, who are you? I am called Delphine, and you are Riku. How did you know? My family knew yours before the sea quake trapped us in a great cavern. Only I survived, for it was the thought of you, Riku, waiting for me that kept me going. You shall be alone no more. We will rebuild our kingdom beneath the waves. Yes, but how shall we protect it? There are so many dangers. I'll show you. There is a gem, part of our ancient heritage. Before today, there was no need for its protection. But now... Once I awaken its power... Lock on to us, Pyron! No! <gasps> Pyron has found us! Don't worry, Delphine. I shall protect you. <gasps> hey! 
Harry, something's wrong with Riku. I don't know what's happening, but I think he needs our help. If we don't know what's happening to Riku, how can we help? Harry, honey, do you have the news on? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, dear, but I couldn't find my remote, and my editor says there's something I've got to see. Oh, Harry, the TV? <sighs> Absolutely, yes, sir. I'm already on my way. We are live from Cairo, Egypt, where a 5,000-year-old pyramid is on the moon. Is it the latest version of the mummy's curse, or does it merely mark the second coming of Elvis? The natural inquisitor is bringing for two tickets, Harry. Okay, Mom, I'll go. As long as I can take my cat. What is happening? Oh, spare me the melodrama. You may have captured us, but if you insult this lady, you die. Computer? You didn't want us. You wanted the gem. This far above the Earth, the gem is useless. But restore it to its proper location inside Anacharis' pyramid. The proper location is Atlantis. Egypt. I demand you send us both back to Atlantis immediately! What's the matter, lover boy? Too dry for you? <laughs> I apologize for this bad creature's rudeness, Delphine. But once I activate this gem, I will set him in his place. Uh, the fish face thief bears a return! Call for the royal dishwasher! Me down, you foul-smelling first aid kit! Riku of Atlantis is no thief! Hmm? For a fishman, you are strangely interactive. But I recall your theft of the gem as clearly as I remember the words which activate its power. Oh, Sirius and Horus can... When it rains, it pours... No, 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 that's not it. Uh, screams and moans can break my bones, but words... Oh, that's not it either. A freak sandstorm won't let anyone get near the pyramid. How are you gonna get a story, Mom? I'll just make something up. We do it all the time at the Inquisitor. How about you? Maybe I'll go for a camel ride. After I drop Felicia off in the room. Felicia, I feel like a Christmas pageant. Oh, loosen up. We've got to blend in. And I think Anna Karras is going to go for my costume big time. Maybe. But if Riku isn't in the pyramid, I'm not hanging around while Bandage Boy proposes. Harry, the spell? Okay, okay. Through the sandstorm, coming right up. Via Mirabilis Questus Sunt. Ah! Whoa! This is way better than some flaky passageway through the sand. Come on, let's go. Uh, Harry? 
There's a mummy. What about her? She's probably still back at the hotel. No, not your mummy, Harry. That mummy! better fight with a dirty shirt. The only thing holding it together was an old magic spell to protect this place against trespassers. That's us all right. Let's keep moving. <laughs> it does not matter what you say. My ancestors changed the activation code, so you'll never gain the gem's power. Then let's hope you know what to do, because if you don't, it's lights out for the fish girl. I cannot allow the fiend to hurt you. Dungbeetles and sand fleas! You must think we are fools to believe that this will activate my gem, you blowfish! At last, the ultimate power will be mine! Not yours, Anacatters! Mine! Huh? Where did you come from, you foul hag? What have you done with Delphi? By the great goggle series, my armpits explode with joy! What's going on? Quick, blast him while he's distracted! And what makes you think I'm distracted? It's just that I can't decide whether I should barbecue the intruders like lizard entrails, or pan fry them like worms. Darkstalkers will return. And now, back to Darkstalkers. Ah, barbecue the lizard entrails. A truly tasty treat. Just a wild guess, Harry, but I think he knows we're here. That you? Oh my goodness gosh! She's come back. What's going on happening? Oh, I can understand the attraction of the fishmen, but <laughs> I always know you'd return to your little snuggle scarab. Are you okay? I am not okay. Felicia! We've got to get Riku to water fast! Felicia? Come, let me kiss upon you, my hasty pudding of love. Tell me I am not dreaming. Chaotica, is it truly you? Yes, my lord. It is. This love token will give you the power of the gem to use as my queen. You think that cat woman in a bad wig is your queen? You're loonier than I said! <laughs> Felicia, snap out of it! Silence, you little gnat! Pyron, if you're watching this, and I know you are, do something now! She's right. Computer, beam that gem back up immediately. Beam it up, beam it down, make up your mind. Just do it! Force beam activated. Your fire and scrolling all over my sarcophagus. Eliminate them. Computer, what's happening? Weasels ripped my circuits. I've lost contact with Pyron! Come, my queen. We shall inspect the palace. We must get that gem! Uh -huh. Oh no! Look what that lunatic has done to my Delphine! He's turned her into a pictoglyph! Pull yourself together, Riku! 
That's just an old picture. Who is Delphi? Beware, money man. Riku the Atlantean is coming after you. Somehow so familiar. Rise and shine, pussykins! <laughs> You're all so lovely. Till your pool gets queen to chew on this! Children of the cat goddess, get them! <laughs> The wrath of Riku. You know, I hate it when my bandages get wet because they shrink. always knows when it's time to stop. I don't know how. Fishman, I tire of this foolishness. Prepare to meet your doom. What have you done to Delphine? Restore Delphi to me now! Oh, it is Delphi! Ah! Don't lie to me! I know you did something awful to her! Well, it was a trick to get the gem. Oh, you! I need Jekyll's eye. Where is my gem? You know, I would have given this to Delphine as a gift. It's a pity she doesn't exist. Just, of course she exists. Just give me the gem. no Delphi, and soon there will be no gem. I've activated the termination sequence. It's going to explode? As long as the gem exists, Pyron and the Darkstalkers would ever strive to possess it, and... Well, without Delphine, I have no use for it. What about the rest of us? Uh, yes! I guess we'd better leave immediately. 
Come on, Dimitri. He'll have to swim. But I hate swimming. There's bound to be a crack in the roof. <laughs> We got out just in time. Oh, what a great shot! Hey, hey, you! I'm trying to take a photo for my newspaper, and I don't need some tours from the Butte cluttering up my brain. Uh, I am so embarrassed. Darkstalkers will return. And now, back to Darkstalkers. Gonna be trouble, your baby and the man. Wanna rumble, how about tonight? They wanna walk, just let me fly. Godzilla's hiding, and it's up to you to find him. Just buy a medium or larger drink. If you find a Godzilla, use your decoder to reveal what you want. Uh oh. I think I need a bigger box. needs a new supermodel. They say you're so cute. You like the way I look best, don't you? Time for your facial. The new supermodel. The new Corsa. Seven centuries have passed since the Earth plunged into darkness. Seven centuries since the Jetheter swore to regain for man his lost knowledge and freedom. 
All the immortals took the oath. All except one who dominates the world. But soon an immortal will come to confront him. His name is Quentin McLeod. He is the Highlander. been hit. What? Oh, no! Hmm. The currents are carrying them towards Carrier's Island. Don't worry, Clyde. We'll take care of you. Hunters! You're right, Petra. I really do. Heave! 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 Look! There's some of them over there! How is she, Ramirez? The wound's not very deep, but she's lost a lot of blood. She needs rest. Stay where you are! Who are you? We're travelers. You brought the hunters. They're chasing us. Look, they wounded my sister. Enemies of the hunters are welcome on Karyas. Thank you. Is she badly hurt? No, but she's still unconscious. My name is Teen. That's my house over there. Put your sister in my bed. And you, come with me. We need all the help we can get. Run, Nikos. Don't wait for me. Hurry. <gasps> Nikos. Finia. They'll never make it. Ah! No. 
something! Too late. Attention on the island! Let me speak to your leader! All I want are the fugitives! What is he talking about? Did you hear what he said? Give yourself up! No! They'll kill him! That's not our problem. I say it is. Don't let them see you. I'll go. Wait! I'm coming with you. Quentin? I want the fugitives hiding on your island. Fugitives? <laughs> Here? Don't play games with me! There's two men and a child, and I want them now! Lower the bridge! We trusted you once! We will never lower our bridge to you again! You kidnapped our husbands and sons and made them slaves well. in Moganda! Silence! <laughs> you have until this evening to surrender them, or they will pay the price! You have to give yourself up and spare their lives. They won't kill them. I promise you that. Petra said the hunters kidnapped your husbands and sons. Tell me what happened. What's the use? They'll never come back. It's better to think about the future. How dare you! We cannot ever forget them! I also lost the ones I love, Helle, but the fact is that they will never return. Our only hope is to try to finish the work our men began. What work? The secret of Carius. Our treasure. Looks like an old sea chart south from the island. But to go where, team? Yes. My father succeeded in deciphering the chart. Now we know that there is a world where Cortan doesn't rule. A world where we can once again be free. That is where we're going. Is there really another world, Ramirez? There is always another world. Can they really go there? Yes, with a good ship. But man has forgotten how to make them. You're mistaken, Ramirez. We never forgot how to make them. What? See for yourself. We are Carianne's Ramirez, the greatest of all shipbuilders. And even if Cortan has kept us from the sea, we have not forgotten our craft. Aren't they a little... small? But these are just models. You can't sail on models. This one... we built life-size. Big enough to carry us all. You're trying to tell me you have a real ship? Where? In one of the hangars at the shipyards. I'll show you. No, you have no right. Not to strangers. They aren't strangers. They're like us. Enemies of Moganda. <laughs> In other words, you're attracted to this man. That's why you're willing to betray your people. I'm not <sighs> betraying anyone, Helle. Stop arguing! What about Phenia and Nikos? They're the ones in danger. She's right. Why don't you show me the boat? This way. Why didn't your men try to sail this ship? They didn't know how to steer it. That's because they couldn't. It doesn't have a rudder. None of the models you showed me had rudders either. Do you know how to make a... Uh, what did you call it? Rudder. But we would never have time to... <coughs> prepare for such a voyage. This has been taken care of, Ramirez. Look! Amazing! There are seedlings of everything! Potatoes, tomatoes, wheat, oats, even flowers. She's right, they're ready. You make the rudder, and I'll free Iraq's prisoners. Uh, can you show me how the drawbridge works?
Why don't you raise the bridge all the way? It's too rusty. It's been stuck for a long time. But there's a passage to the other side. Under the sea? Can you show it to me? Yes, this way. It's over here. Oh no, the trap door is open. Someone has gone over to the hunters. Come on, we have to warn Ramirez. I knew they were on the island. I can show you a secret passage that leads to the village. In exchange for what? The last time you came, you kidnapped my husband and my sons. If you swear to free them, I'll take you to the passage. Your husband and your sons. You've got a deal. I swear it. Helle! She's disappeared! And that means the hunters could arrive any minute now. We're finished! It's all over. We'll all be killed! I'll go find out, Ramirez. Take the McLeod sword. All right. I figured out how to steer the ship. But I'll need everyone's help. This is what we've got to do. Go on! Get in! But what about our agreement? An agreement? <laughs> you pathetic fool. You'll never see your family again. What? <laughs> Easy now. Forward a bit. Yourselves. Hunter, don't move an inch. Huh? Weren't you paying attention? Now open the door. I can't. A rock will kill me. I wouldn't worry about a rock right now. I'd worry about me. Now quick. Hunter. Come on, Hilly. There they are.
here! Hurry! It'll never hold both of us. You go first. What about you? I'll manage. No! It's all my fault! Stop! No, Quinton! No! Come back! Get out of the way, mad woman! This time, McLeod, you gave me quite a scare. Stop firing! Don't think you can escape me! You're all prisoners on this island! Let me see your shoulder. <laughs> Hunters! They're trying to cross the bridge! Quentin, you've got to hold them off! The Hunters! They're back! Everyone to the ship! They're going to get across! Get on board! Quick! Hurry! Team, get our animals! What about Quentin? Get on, Clyde! Hurry up!
steady have super mutant powers that are taking over the city. Look there, in the shadows, it's a new breed of heroes. Super mutant Leos cutting them down to size. Super mutant Ralph's got them spinning out of control. Uh. Super mutant Don's got a fiery temper. Super mutant Mike's making shish kebab out of these guys. That ought to take a slice out of crime. The knights aren't safe for evil anymore. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Super Mutants from Playmate. The alien invasion has begun, and it's up to the five of us to stop them. Animorphs, the Transformers. The evil Visser 3 is leader of the Yerks. He can morph from evil Anzalites to Inferno Creature with grasping claws and firing jaws. But we can change, too, into any animal we touch. And when Heroic Axe changes into a scorpion, Visser 3 is gonna get stung. To save the human race, we pounce like animals. You can make the change. Animorphs. Animorphs. Each sold separately. Transformers. Cyber 9. With orders to steal the all-powerful Cyber 9, the ruthless Hammerons ambush Jack in his supercharged Skyfighter. And now they have him laser locked. Jack's got other plans. With Titania in her air striker, you fire the Mazer missiles and make sure evil has nowhere to go. But down. Now you can join the fight against evil with the new Cyber 9 collection, each sold separately from Bandai. Hey, time to load up on PlayStation games. Greatest hits are on a Sega. Crash Bandicoot. Jet Moto. But I don't even have a PlayStation. You do now. Mom know about this? Who? PlayStation. Standing as black as the night. Pearl of a cape in the moonlight. The glint of his sword to the shimmer of fear. And Zoro suddenly appears. Titans who steal from the floor. Tremble black his name. Zoro is watching them. They can't escape from him. Zoro will bring them to shame. Out in old California. So the story is told. Diego finds his destiny. Shining brighter than gold. Many times over. Every centavo we've earned has gone to Capitan Monticero. Silence you! The law is the law! If you behave yourselves, I'll try to find some scraps of food for you. And uh, maybe some for myself. <laughs> Thank you, Sergeant. Uh, Zorro! Shh. Do you want to wake the other guards? Uh, the sound the alarm! In Zorro! In Zorro! Thank heavens! Hurry, Zorro! Come with us! Sorry, but I think these gentlemen want a word with me. Get him! Get him! Get him. On guard, senor! Gentlemen, if you'll be so kind. Oh, oh, him. Those were my best men. It's not fair. Haven't you forgotten something, Sergeant? Oh, yes. Of course. And just so your Capitan knows who to blame. <laughs> Easy, Torinon. Easy. I'm here. What the devil's going on here? Zorro! Garcia, where are you? 
In here, my Capitan. Then where are the prisoners? I regret to report that. Zoro, let them escape. This is the final straw. The royal treasurer is coming tomorrow. What kind of trouble will Zoro cause then? I want that outlaw eliminated once and for all. Uh, uh, Capitan, uh, uh, could you perhaps let us loose now? Capitan, please. This is going to be a long night. Ah, Capitan Montesero. Welcome, Senor Treasurer. How was your journey? <sighs> Quite unpleasant. Collecting taxes from starving peasants requires a heart of stone. Really? I rather enjoy it. I've taken the liberty of arranging a grand fiesta in your honor. And rest assured, your precious cargo of gold will be most safe during your overnight stay with us. Value your life. Out of my way. Who are you? What do you want? I'm looking for the man in charge. Capitan Montesero is not available. Think that broomstick's gonna stop me? No! No! What in the blazes is going on? I'm here to see your commander. You'll have to get by us first. We're not afraid of you. Should be. You fellas know how to dance. Skills are most impressive. I am Capitan Montesero, <clears throat> in charge of the Pueblo de Los Angeles. Perhaps we should talk. That's just what I thought you'd say. I could use a man of your talents in your. Uh... Folks call me the Enforcer. I'm a bounty hunter, a problem solver. The rumor is you've been having a problem with some masked vigilante. Ah, you've not only a sharp dagger, but sharp ears as well. And you think you can solve my fox problem? Sure, for 20 gold pieces. That's a bit high, isn't it? Not if this Zorro makes off with that stagecoach full of gold. Well then, my friend, you have a deal. There's just one problem. How to lure this fox into a trap. <laughs> Leave that to me. But, Sergeant, I, I, I paid my taxes. Silence, you dog. Orders are orders. Uh, forgive me, Senora. Uh, we'll have him back soon, I'm sure. Uh, but uh, just in case, I'd better take some snacks for him. Men, uh, wait for your uh, leader. It's disgraceful, I tell you. Unjustly arresting poor Senor Fernandez for tax evasion, just to impress the royal treasurer. Mm. Capitan Montesero is completely without conscience. I hear he's actually planning a fiesta for the royal treasurer. I'd ride to the command post myself to protest this outrage, if it weren't for my sprained ankle. Perhaps you're a little too old to be breaking in horses, father. Nonsense. I'm still young and vigorous. <laughs> it's just your feet that are old and tired. The 
Then I will go and tell Montessero how we feel. Please, Isabella. A vulgar army post is no place for a young lady. But someone must stop these injustices. Not you, my dear. Oh, very well. Diego, why don't you speak to Montessero? Oh, not now, Father. All this unpleasantness has given me a splitting headache. <sighs> I'm hoping a nap will help. Wait here, Toronado. Change the lock. Senor Fernandez, you can come out now. Well, well, Senor Zorro. It's gonna be a pleasure tanning your hide. This is the end of the line, Zorro. I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage, Senor. <laughs> You can say that again. I mean, I don't know your name. Folks call me the Enforcer, but you can call me Trouble. I have no quarrel with you, senor. That's what you think. Machine. You might say I'm the best of both! <laughs> or the worst, as the case may be. <laughs> we shall meet again, senor! You can bet your cape. We will. I'm telling you, that Zorro is slipperier than a wet rattlesnake. Getting rid of him is gonna cost you a lot more than 20 measly gold pieces. Mmm, how much more? 30 more. 50 gold pieces? That's highway robbery! Take it or leave it. <sighs> Very well. Payable when you bring me more than a scrap of his cape. He calls himself the Enforcer. Although it's not the law he's enforcing. I'll need some clever weapons to defeat this one, Bernardo. His false arm has more firepower than Montessero's entire battalion. How will I find this machine man again? I suspect he will find me. Why haven't Montessero and the treasurer put in an appearance yet? Enjoying the party, Isabella? Diego! What are you doing here? Keeping an eye on you. Try the appetizers. They're delicious. Ugh, I wouldn't touch Montessero's food. <laughs> <laughs> Here is what you came for. The tax money. There must be some mistake. This is twice the amount I expected from your Pueblo. <laughs> I told you I enjoy collecting taxes. Indeed, you viper. And uh, this is for you. For me? Why? For assisting in my promotion. When you return to Santa Barbara, I would appreciate it if you would inform General Lobo of the good work I'm doing down here. Consider it done, Capitan. Or should I say, Colonel? <laughs> the Royal Treasurer is as big a thief as Montsero! <clears throat> Sorry, little lady, but I hate screaming. <laughs> Get 
attention, everyone. I have distressing news. Senorita Isabella Torres has just been abducted by that fiend Zorro. Now what's Montesero up to? According to this note, he's taken her to the native ruins called El Labyrintho, and he demands 500 pieces of gold for her return. El Labyrintho? There's no need to panic. I have already dispatched my finest soldiers to rescue her. Well, this party certainly ended with a bang. You better hope Zoro shows up soon. Them coyotes sound mighty hungry. Hold on, Isabella. I can't make out a word you're saying. Uh, Zoro, get out of here! It's a trap! I was just thinking the same thing. Zoro, get ready to be outfoxed. I don't think so. What do you say we shake things up a bit? Got you where I want you. Adios, amigo. Isabella, these things happen. What? Who said that? I did. Sorrow? Then you weren't buried alive. Luckily, no. Thanks to Bernardo's expanding shield. We have to stop Montesero. I watched him bribe the royal treasurer with the people's tax money. That gold belongs to the Californios. Coronado! Wait here for Montesero's soldiers. Tell them of my untimely demise. And where are you going? Since everybody thinks I'm a ghost, it's time to do some haunting. And uh, so you see, the treasurer demanded every last gold piece in my coffers. So uh, I'm afraid... You mean you don't have my gold? Senor, what can I say? I am most regretful. You lying little sidewinder. Sergeant Garcia! See my Capitan, oh dear. Call the troops! Arrest this man for the kidnapping of Senorita Isabella! Don't bother! Now one last thing. Where's my gold, you lousy skunk? You're too late. The royal coach has already left. It has, eh? Clear of the Royal Stagecoach. 
when I can have thousands of them. <laughs> I assure you that stealing from peasants is no laughing matter. Who said that? That would be me. Zoro, you're alive. And this time you've fallen into my trap. We'll see. I've still got a few tricks up my sleeve. chest of gold. It must have fallen off the coach. So, Zoro, taking it for yourself, eh? Not for me. There's enough gold here to feed the Californios for a year. We've got more in common than you think, amigo. We're both survivors. He's gone. Next time, you won't get away so easily, Zoro. You hear me? You hear me, Zoro? Thanks to your incompetence, Montessero, a year's worth of tax collection is now strewn across the bottom of Perito Canyon. Don't forget the destruction of the royal coach, Senor Treasurer. Garcia, shut up! And as for your promotion, if you don't recover every last piece of that gold, General Lobo will have you sweeping out stables the rest of your life. Don't worry, my Capitan. I will carry the broom for you. Curse you, Garcia. Curse that enforcer! And most of all, curse that infernal Zorro! <laughs> it appears the Capitan has gotten his reward. Onward, Tornado! Yeah!
Do you have a sidekick? No. A nemesis? A what? A bad guy. I'm a people person. Have you been fighting crime long? I don't fight crime. What do you fight? Wheat bones. A never-ending supply of milk. And chocolate milk. <laughs> Want strong bones? The calcium in milk helps make your bones strong. I don't know how you do it. I put together some really impressive deals. But this thing you've pulled off, it's amazing. A big and tasty for just a dollar? How do you do it? What's your secret? Mm -hmm. Got a buck? You're in luck. Because you can get a delicious, beefy, big and tasty, a McChicken sandwich, and lots of your other favorites on McDonald's dollar menu every day. Together, Grimace, we could own this town. Betty, do you have a date? Would you like to go to the dance? Many arrangements for the prom? Such a dork. Isn't that a cute dress, Betty? Yeah. Last season. <laughs> um, hi, Betty. Uh, I, uh, I... WCW Mayhem! It starts in the ring. It just doesn't have to end there. Oh, my goodness! That was so rude. Hey, it's Chicks Man. Yeah, let's pour him a bowl. It's my most super disguise, and they fell for it. The way I fall for the raspberry reds, lemony yellows, and wildberry blues and tricks. Uh -oh. uh. Hey, you're not Tricks Man. You're the rabbit. And Tricks is a fruity part of a balanced breakfast. Made just for kids. I fall for them every time. <laughs> Check it out. Two more cylinders and a fifth drive gear. Now that's power. What's that gonna do? Uh, not really sure, but it looks cool. Well, I've increased ion flow through the phase plasma drive. Psh, what's that gonna do? The ions will remove the negative charge from the plasma drive and... It'll make it go faster. Nice. Great. Let's go break something with all this newfound speed and power. I'm bored. I just want to finish this up, then we can hit fish in a barrel. Today's the last day for Cajun crawfish nuggets. Whatever. We got a giant robot that we could be smashing stuff with, and all he wants to do is... The one named Coop. Coop? Yeah, he's, uh... He's a lot cuter than I expected. Me. I'm Coop. Oh, wow. Look at him. Oh, so cool. He's oh, amazing. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, great one. We are desperate. Oh, yeah? We need you to fight a horrible creature that is wreaking havoc on our world. Fight? Uh, yeah. The problem is, my robot's in the shop and... But we can catch a movie or something. That's okay. We only need your unmatched combat skills. Ultra Cadets, away! <laughs>
Come on, Jamie, it's time for Cajun crawfish nuggets. Mmm. Jamie. Hey, Jamie. Where the heck did he go? I was wondering why it's been so quiet around here. Come on, man, I'm hungry. creature called the Kurdok. Yeah, see, I promised this other guy I'd help him save his planet today, so... Even we, with all our powers, can't stop it. But you've defeated far worse. Um, yeah, like I told you, my robot's busted. You can use this one! shouldn't matter to an ace like you, Coop. Yeah, an ace like me. <laughs> <laughs> because of that evil Kurdok's constant attacks, we were forced to build a protective dome over our city. But we don't know how much longer it will hold. You're our only hope. Uh, yeah. About that, I was, um... It's nothing compared to your amazing robot, but you should have no problem. We can't wait to see you pummel that creepy Kurdok. Oh, there'll be some pummeling, all right. Well, good luck, Coop. Wait, you're not coming? <laughs> <laughs> Silly, when we just get in the way. I'm sure that you can defeat the Kurdok alone. Alone? Wait! <laughs> Note to self, when crazy space chicks ask if you're an ace robot pilot, you say no! I'm so dead. this every day. How hard can it be? Just because some little girls couldn't beat this thing. I'm starving. Jamie, this isn't funny. Why don't you just go get something to eat without him? Eat without Jamie? Well, I just saw Jamie over there. Talk to some space chicks. Space chicks? 
yeah, they said something about needing help and then warped away with them. Some guys got all the luck. Why would anyone ask Jamie for help? I'm starving and he's goofing off with some space chicks? We better go find him. Leaving Jamie alone with some innocent aliens is not a good idea. What's the worst he could do? You're right, we better find him. Well, hold on. I'm coming with you. The one in blue has given me the eye. Well, she was. That's what I'm talking about. Jamie the Kurdock Slayer. Oh, yeah. Sounds like you got some loose bearings, bro. Nah, that was me. Come on, Kiva, what's taking so long? I'm trying to track residual warp anomalies from an unknown source, Coop. This might take a while. I've got something. The signal's very weak. Weak? Sounds like Jamie. I hope he's not getting eaten by some monster or nothing. Who loves you, baby? <laughs> mm. You are so cute and so brave! Yeah! Yeah! Tell us more of your heroic adventures. Nah, nah. Well, okay, this one time. And that was before lunch. Oh yeah, and this other time, I had to fight an entire army. Like this! Jamie is in there. And I bet that city bashing bot has something to do with it. Coop, wait! Wow. Guess we know what those extra cylinders and gear do now. Coop, what are you doing? Seriously, dude, I almost swallowed my lollipop. Hey, I stopped this chump robot from squishing all these people. What are you doing, Coop? Uh, <laughs> I mean, Jamie? Jamie? How dare you attack our hero? Hero? Jamie? <laughs> if they think Jamie is a hero, they really do need help. We'll protect Coop no matter what. Protect Coop? What are you talking about? I don't need no protecting. Jamie, what's going on? You know, it's kind of a funny story. Don't worry, Coop. We'll take care of this chubby thief and get your robot back. Chubby? Lady. This is back. Ugh. Ultra Cadets, prepare for battle. Dude, those little girls want to fight you. Look, I think there might be some kind of misunderstanding here. 
And besides, in case you hadn't noticed, I'm in a giant robot and you're in foofy little skirts. I supposed to know they could do that? Dibs on the one in yellow. <clears throat> come on, come on, get up! All right, let's all just calm down. I ain't looking for a fight. Then you came to the wrong planet, Daddy. I said I don't want to fight. It. You transforming Girl Scout super freaks interrupted my quality junkyard time, kidnapped Jamie, and made me miss second lunch. Oh, it's on now. Actually, I want dibs on the purple one. Trying to save him, and I'm Coop. Not 
Coop! What? He's Coop. He's the guy you wanted. Your Coop? I'll give you five bucks if you tell him I'm your sidekick. Deceiver! Ow! Now hold on. Jamie may be a lion creep, but he's still my best friend. And no one pummels him but me. Well, he did rid our world of the Kurdok. Go, and don't ever come back! Be right with you. Why'd you tell them you were me? Because they're space chicks. I'm weak. Among other things. You know, that vile liar never did tell us how he defeated the Kurdok. It doesn't matter. As long as he didn't throw it into the volcano. big monster that breathed fire. Hey, it's not that I don't believe you. I just don't believe you. Besides, a fire-breathing monster? Is that the best you could come up with? Seriously, I'm a hero. <laughs> a real hero would have got some digits. <laughs> <laughs> pay off with the Dr. Pepper $100,000 X-Men game for the new X2 movie. Look under the cap of specially marked packages for your chance to instantly win one of 10 $100,000 cash grand prizes or thousands of other prizes. Could you give me a hand with the $100,000 X-Men game only from Dr. Pepper. Rated T for teen. When you're Brock Lesnar, you got to watch your back. And that punk John, John Cena, Cena. I run this terrain. Here comes the pain. Came after me backstage. But no matter what they do, no matter how hard they try, there is nothing and no one that can stop me. You and me, bra and panties match right now. I win. No, Brock, we all win. Smackdown, here comes the pain. Your hair, perfume you wear, brings back memories all of you and me. You look so fine. Rita, kid in the hot I thought you said they were on vacation! Hey! Okay. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> 
Steve? Diana. What are you doing? Uh, Moultrie? the better the game gets. Just one of the many reasons it's the best Dragon Ball Z game ever. Dragon Ball Z Budokai. Go deeper. Rated T for Team. Eat something. <laughs> Come on, Neil, get mean. Okay, mean. You're so ugly, you make onions cry. Huh? That's not exactly what I was thinking. You're here to wrestle Harry, and he doesn't know the meaning of fear. Harry doesn't know the meaning of most words. Here we go. <sighs> okay, let's play house. You be the door, and I'll slam you. That's the way. Come on, Neil, get mean. If my dog was as ugly as you, I'd shave his butt and make him walk backwards. What? <sighs> Get up, Neil! Huh? Oh, yeah, baby! One, two, three! Who's me? I'm me! Unbelievable! Harry. You're like a son to me. And like any good father, I can't stand to see you lose. Okay. Oh. Well, first, we're gonna work on your balance. Focus, Harry. Oh. Let's work on your strength. Uh, come to my office. I don't know what's wrong with me. Well, uh, maybe you're just having a bad day. I don't think so. Something on your mind? Uh, girl trouble? Mm-mm. Nah. Harry, you're the strongest hero I've ever seen. Aside from myself, of course. You have unlimited potential. If you focus and work hard, someday you might even end up like me. Great. But Harry, if you want your body to be strong, you must make it a servant of your mind. That means using this as well as this. Got it. Good. Well, maybe you should go for a walk. Clear your head. Sure. Thanks, Hercules. Hey, Harry! What 
starts with him. Beats me. Are we going boarding or what? I'm already gone! Hey! Yes, it's me. But hey, how about a handful of backup singers, huh? Hard to resist the siren song, isn't it? <sighs> Such a catchy tune. Leave him alone now. What do you want, Cronus? I need you to do a little work for me, Harry. Labor of mythological proportions. How surprising. A descendant of the mighty Hercules that thinks with his fists. Save your strength, Harry. You're going to need it. Sands of time. They're going to carry you back to the good old days of ancient Greece. Hey, that's strange. Harry wouldn't just leave his door open like that. Yeah, I wonder where he went. Harry? Where are you, buddy? Harry? Your first labor, Harry, is in ancient Nemea. If you succeed, you'll destroy the rise of Hercules. And if you don't succeed, you'll be destroyed. Oh, either way, Harry is history. And maybe we'll even kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> no offense. Now go. His friends will soon be looking for him. You know what to do! <laughs> Where the heck am I? Who's there? Kidding me? You beat Harry at wrestling? I taught him the meaning of mean. Hey, guys, have you seen Harry? He's not answering his radio. No, I haven't. But he always answers his radio. His truck is still outside and he left the door open. 
Harry's door is open and nobody's home? What's strange about that? <laughs> I've got a GPS lock on his radio. He's in Center Park. Come on, let's check it out. I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Me too. I can't do this all day! That's gotta hurt. Look, he killed the Nemean lion. He's a hero! Yes! Oh, mighty warrior. We have been plagued by the Nemean lion for years, and now you have slain us, freed us from our fear. Well, actually, hail the hero! Hail the hero! What is your name? Hercules, but... Hail Hercules! 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 And what are the chances of that? Harry survives and Hercules is credited as a hero. Well, as much as I'd like to see Hercules' path to immortality broken, I'd much rather break Harry. Time for a bigger challenge. Much bigger. What's happening? I think I'll be going now. Oh, turn it up! I love this song! No, come on, we're at the park now. Mm. What's he doing? Being a goof. I'll just leave him. Harry should be right over there. Let's go. Weird. He should be right here. Harry? Hey, Harry's radio. Sirens! They're beautiful. I'll say. Jay! Stop! What are you doing? <laughs> Whoa. I'm not picky, but those girls are definitely not my type. What's taking them so long? Uh-oh! Ah! Archie? Atlanta? We could use some help here! Let's go! Now you're talking. Let's rock, slime -o. Now, some heads are gonna roll. Who's first? You up next? Okay. I wasn't expecting that. All right, Harry, think. Do 
lose your head. This better work. destroyed him when I had the chance. But no, I had to be greedy, elaborate, turned it into a sport. <laughs> well, what am I going to do? I am a god after all. The god of time. And now it's time for Harry's next labor. One that even the mighty Hercules himself couldn't do alone. No, not again. Just a guess, but I'm thinking this isn't as nice a place as it looks. what we're going to find out. Odie, track them. I'm on it. Got them? Yeah, I got them traced. Let's hope they lead us to Harry. That wasn't my stomach. Whoa! Now that is ugly. heroes no longer. What's this? Fools! You've led the others right here! <laughs> Harry! Let go of him, Cronus! Mm, no. You heard him. Let me 
Looks like your time is up, Cronus. You're going back to prison in Tartarus. <laughs> Maybe we should ask for a padded jail cell? <laughs> I won't be going anywhere with you, Jay. Not today. Ta-ta! Stop him! He's gone. What a coward! He knows I would have torn him apart. Oh, uh, hey, Harry. Hi, Hercules. You really do all these things? <clears throat> oh, uh, the labors of Hercules. <laughs> of course. Why? Is someone telling you different, son? No. It's just that... It's impressive that you did all those things. You must be proud. <laughs> yeah, well... I just came by to thank you for the advice yesterday. I'll see you later. Yes. I'm very proud. <laughs> <laughs>